Hi, it's Barbecue Brian from the House of Q, and I've got some things cooking, and I wanted to share a tip on using your Yoders uh, that I wanted to share with everybody who uses a Yoder smoker, or even some other smokers at that point. But nonetheless, I've got my cooking helmet on, my Yoder smoker uh, cooking cooking hat on. Um, I've got the flat top right here, and my 1500 is right behind me over my left shoulder. And today on the cook is brisket, and so I've got a lot of briskets cooking, so I know you want to see that first. So on the flat top here are a couple of briskets that wouldn't fit not enough room in the other cooker so there they are and lunch with a ring of sausage a couple of briskets looking awesome in there and let me go over to the other one this isn't necessarily my tip but nonetheless let me open that a little more there we go over here is where the other eight briskets so i've got a total of 10 briskets cooking right now and as the color adjusts right here there we go now we can see them so there's eight briskets in here, two on the flat top right now. And is as you can hear it sizzling of things, that's kind of the clue of the tip that I want to talk about is I'm not cooking in trays. You can cook in foil trays in your Yoder, but you got to make sure you're watching the air circulation. So if you put that tray right against the wall, you're actually blocking and you're minimizing the airflow, the convection through the cooking chamber. And that will impact your cook quite significantly. So keep that in mind. That'll be tip number one. Make sure there's lots of air circulation and you're going to get some awesome color and some smoke ring on your briskets. Now tip number two is, as you can hear, it's sizzling and it renders and it starts to drip all over on the inside of this cooker. Let me show you what I want to point out. And truth be told, there's things like this that people forget to do every once in a while. Maybe I'm speaking about me, but I'm going to be brave and bold and say that there probably are people like me out there that forget to go right here to the drip bucket and empty this guy every once in a while. Keep an eye on this because it's about three quarters of the way full right now. I still have quite a bit of cooking. It's not going to take long for this to be overflowing if I'm not paying attention. So don't forget about your drip, drip bucket over here. Keep lots of airflow in your cooker, and you too are going to have an awesome brisket cook. I'm Barbecue Brian from the House of Q, and this is why I yoder. Peace.